Okay guys, I'm gonna ask you to watch this video so you can get a little bit of context and understand what's going on right now. Watch these first few minutes and then I'll pick up from there. If you dig into racing just a little bit, you can see how powerful our racetracks are. You tell me if you'll be able to hear those race cars with, with a 25 foot fence. The request before you today is a large scale comprehensive plan map amendment for 2,307 acres from the agricultural rural future land use category to urban fringe three. We do propose a D5 provision to limit the maximum density to 4,500 residential units. To give you guys a little bit of context, this is the future development area boundary right here, this purple line. So development's supposed to be within that. These people are planning on building 4,500 homes outside of the urban boundary line. And this is the racetrack right here. And this is basically right up against it, the property that they are planning this job site on. We're also aware of and must plan for adjacent existing uses. And so with that in mind, we've requested the inclusion of a stipulation, again, that will be for up for consideration next month. Um, to require a berm and a fence or a wall up to a maximum of 25 feet. Um, again, that will be discussed in greater detail at, time, uh, at the time that we present the general development plan next month. All right, I'm Garrett Mitchell. I'm a Manatee County resident, and I am sworn in. Thank you. And uh, I'll just put this, I'd like to put this up on the screen for just a split second. Okay, so um, I not only live in this area but I also own the racetrack on 64 and that's primarily what I'm here and most concerned about. Um, I don't know if you guys know this but we have two of the most thriving racetracks in the entire country. All around the country racetracks are shutting down Atlanta Dragway, Houston Raceway and we for some reason here in Bradenton, Florida, Manatee County have two of the best ones in the country. Now, I'm not just saying that because, you know, I have equity in them. It's because they truly are. If you dig into racing just a little bit, you can see how powerful our racetracks are. Bradenton Motorsports Park, in fact, was named the number one drag strip in the country by several uh, media outlets. But um, on this picture, you'll see the edge of the project area, and then you'll see right here, that is the racetrack. So... Although I like the idea of sound abatement, you tell me if you'll be able to hear those race cars with, with a 25-foot fence in between. So I do like the sound of some sound abatement, but I, I'm just being realistic in the fact that these neighbors are going to hear the racetracks. So... Like I said, these are two of the most thriving racetracks in the country. I bought the circle track um, after several people had gone bankrupt owning it. It had been abandoned for several years. I purchased it, put my heart and soul into it, and it is now doing incredible. We've had several sold out events this year. We bring thousands of people to Manatee County. I would say hundreds of thousands of people to Manatee County. And, you know, some people come who are local, some people come from other countries and they book hotels, they eat food, they stay here. The racetracks bring a lot of people to Bradenton as I think you guys already know. The drag strip uh, just had the 51st year of the Snowbird Nationals. That's 51 years consecutive that they've had this event. We just had it last weekend. You should look up photos of the crowd. There was standing room only. The racetrack was absolutely packed. 51 years. And, uh, that was pretty amazing for us. So although Katie's previous presentation had a plan to eliminate urban sprawl, this one is the exact thing that is urban sprawl. And putting new homeowners in Manatee County next to a racetrack has several red flags. What we have here is a classic case of how a racetrack dies. People move in, they don't know what they're moving in next to, and they complain. We're... We're urban planning today, and what we did 50 years ago was urban plan and move the racetracks out to where they are now, right? They used to be in town. We moved them out of town to prevent this exact issue. Now we moved them out of town, and we're planning on putting 4,000-plus homes right next to them. Like I said, the classic case of how a drag strip dies. 
I don't think the current plan that they are proposing can protect the racetracks and their historic value. And for those reasons today, I think this should not be approved. Thank you. All right, so guys, what we're dealing with is there's a ton of land right next to Bradenton Motorsports Park and the Freedom Factory, 2,700 acres. And the group that owns it is trying to get it converted from agricultural to allowing three homes per acre up to 4,500 homes. And we're talking this land is right next to our racetracks. It's been ag land forever. It's just farmland. And now they've applied to do this. We went to this meeting. I spoke and the planning commission voted five to one to allow it to go to the board of county commissioners. Now this Thursday, the 15th at 9 a.m., it goes before the county commissioners and if they approve it, it then goes to the state. Basically, the way I've understood it is once it makes it past the board of county commissioners and it goes to the state, we're in trouble. So, and it goes without saying that putting homes right next to racetracks is always a bad idea. You guys see it all the time on the internet, tracks closing because new neighbors move in, complain about the noise until the track can't operate at normal times, people stop showing up, the track closes. And I've heard plenty of ideas to prevent this, like having homeowners sign a form that says they know they're moving next to a racetrack or like these people are trying to do, a 25 foot tall fence, maximum 25 foot tall fence. And historically these things have been tried at racetracks and they do not work. So this all being said, myself and any of you are welcome to come to the Manatee County Administrative Center this Thursday, December 15th at 9 a.m. Now our goal here is to show up and show how many people support the racetrack. We want to respectfully oppose this application. Anyone from any state, anywhere can speak and myself and a few other people will be making speeches on the track's behalf. But all we need is a lot of people to show up, stand in front of the board of county commissioners and say, I oppose. Now, if you can't make it Thursday at 9 a.m., which I don't expect very many of you to make, you can go into the description of this video where you can copy all of the emails of the county commissioners as well as the application number, and you can email all the commissioners as long as you include your full name and address. You can email all of them and say, I oppose this application. You can put some words about the track and what it's done for you and why you support it, and it has to be put on record that every single one of you reached out and opposed this application. And we got to give it our best shot ever right now to try and stop this thing. And I know it might sound like a long shot, but if all of you guys email and some of you guys show up to support us on Thursday, we may be able to get this stopped. I've got some professionals on our team that are going to help us this Thursday, but the more support we get, the better our chances are of stopping this application. So if you guys want to send those emails, check out the info in the description. You got to put the application number, your full name and your address for it to be put on record. And if any of you can come in person, I would ask that you write off your entire day. It starts at 9 a.m. We're going to try and get as many people through as we can just saying I oppose, but also having a mass group of people showing their support in person is gonna have a very powerful effect. I ask that everyone be as respectful as you possibly can. We need people to support the track, but we also don't need a bad look in front of the county commissioner. So we gotta do this right. Thursday, 9 a.m., Manatee County Administrative Center. If you guys can come out and support, that would be great. If not, please send that email. I will update you guys as soon as we can on this situation. It sucks, but this is life. This is not the end of the world. We're going to get through this.